I want us to, to release ah, your divine. There was a situation with one who had a, a particular illness, and there was only a doctor, especially in a particular field, who could help him. By the time he got there, that only person who had the skill to deliver and rescue him had for whatever reason suddenly had a crisis situation and had traveled and left town and wasn't going to come for about a month or two. Maduka di Kalasat. Let our divine helpers be delivered. Let our divine helpers be preserved. Let our divine helpers escape the bite of the snake in the way. Put your hands down. Pray that prayer. Secure your divine helpers. Command the deliverance preservation of your divine helper somebody put your hands together open your mouth rescue your divine helpers command their deliverance release them command their preservation put your hands together whoever they are wherever they are let them be preserved and delivered preserve delivered rescue right now put your hands together Push it, push it, push it for a minute, push it for a minute, push it for a minute. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. You are being too nice, too diplomatic, too political. Stop being political, stop being diplomatic. Open your mouth, put your hands together, secure your divine helpers. I secure my divine helpers and that of my children the divine helpers of my children i secure them i command their deliverance i command their release their escape let them be rescued 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 in the name of jesus rescued now hear me hear me go beyond yourself eh? pray one more prayer go beyond yourself pray for the deliverance of the divine helpers of your children and of your loved ones because you never know whom your children will need and god has positioned a divine helper somewhere but this enemy we are dealing with is a serpent it's a snake let the divine helpers of your children and of your loved ones be preserved let them be rescued let them be delivered in the air on land and on water put your hands together pray that prayer right now Put your hands together, open your mouth. Don't just stand there. Don't stand there like that. This is a very serious thing we are doing. This is no joke. You will need this one day. You may not need it now, but one day you will. Lift it up, lift up prayer. Lift it up, lift it up. Now, hear me. Hear me. One more prayer. You see, when they put Joseph in the pit, they left him there to die. And Joseph was to die. They were going to leave him there in the pit. No air. Nothing. And the Ishmaelites came. And they sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites. That was what delivered him out of the pit. The Ishmaelites here, was Joseph's deliverance. The Ishmaelites were his divine helpers. God sent the Ishmaelites to pull him out of the pit. Any group of people and anyone, God has appointed them position to bring us out of the pit, to pull your children and loved ones out of the pit, to rescue them in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, we release them. We lose them to come. We compel them to come. And we command them to be on time, on time, on time. Put your hands together, on time, on time rescue, on timing deliverance, on time, on time. Open your mouth, on time. They will not come before time. They won't be here when it's too late. They will be on time. Command your helpers to be on time. Command your helpers to be on time. 
declare my helpers will come on time the helpers of my children my loved ones they will be on time let them be on time let them be on time on time on time put your God let them be on time hear me lift it up lift it up say I declare before heaven and earth by the blood of my my covenant by the blood of my covenant that my divine helpers and the divine helpers of my loved ones and of my children my house and this house and my nation they will be on time say I announce before heaven and earth that my divine helpers will be on time if you believe it put your hands together and declare it declare it let them be on time they will be on time yeah they will not be delayed they will not be delayed there will not be any delays or interference in the name of jesus of the coming thoughts of my divine helpers the divine helpers of this house and of this nation let them be on time let them be on time put your hands together and announce they will be on time they will be on time it's important you announce this thing put your hands together stop playing politics stop being diplomatic stop being politically correct put your hands together and announce it to latu kalika salat te lakadu kalika salan pelayanda kawasan Kifan kulan, we am kuluku sun to kabim, the lahaka katan, kawala ki to kun de kasalan, me falan du kawalia san, ke sutu kilia. Now, now, go to, go to Isaiah 49. Give me verse 26. Give me 26. Anyone that is seeking our blood, let them be drunk with their own blood. Ah, our blood will not be shed like that of Abel. And anyone that seek our flesh, let them be fed with their own flesh. Go ahead, Bishop. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Yes, sir. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Yes, sir. As with sweet wine. Madaku. And all flesh shall know Malika that I am the Lord. Kasi. I'm thy Savior hey. and thy Redeemer. Malika the tu. mighty one Akidu of Israel. Kasala. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus anyone anywhere seeking my blood and my flesh and the blood and flesh of my loved ones and of my children home and abroad say whoever they are wherever they are in the heavens above on the earth or the earth beneath or the regions of the sea or the rocks the mountains the valleys the hills say whoever they are and whatever powers they are working with and operating with i declare by the efficacy of the superior blood of the lamb let them be fed with their own flesh drunk with their own blood that seek and desire my blood and that of my loved ones and family put your hands together announce it announce it announce make an announcement don't be politically correct don't play with this thing don't just stand there and be looking at me make this announcement you will need it tomorrow it will work for you tomorrow i'm telling you open your mouth put your hands together make an announcement that i announce before heaven and earth by the word of the lord that whoever seek desire and want my flesh my blood and that of my loved ones and my seed home and abroad domestic and external i announce before the lord and hell that they will be drunk with their own blood fed with their own flesh that seek desire and want and demand for my blood and the blood of my seed and my loved ones and this house home and abroad put it together shout it scream it declare it now last scripture 
give me Esther chapter 7 verse 10. Esther chapter 7 verse 10, Bishop. So they hung Haman on the gallow that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath passive. Lift up your right hand. Say, anyone that has prepared a gallows to hang me and my loved one and this house and my nation on it, in the name of Jesus, let them be hung on their own gallows. Now, give me Psalm 141 verse 10. Psalm 141 verse 10, quickly. Madu, Sadiq, Adu, Galassit. Yes, sir. Go ahead. The NIV, NIV. Give me NIV quickly. Yes, sir. Let the wicked fall into their own nets uh -huh. while I pass by in safety. Anyone that have set a net for us from now to the end of 2024, whatever the net is, whatever the net is coming from, through land, water, air, or food, or drink, in the name of Jesus, let them fall into their own net. Let them be hung on their own gallows. Put your hands together. Announce it. Make a divine announcement, a divine proclamation that I proclaim before heaven and earth in the name of Jesus to the hearing of enemies, known and unknown, friends. It doesn't matter who you are. Hear ye the word of the Lord that have set a gallows for me, my house, and my loved one, and my seed, and this house. You shall be hung on that same gallows. And anyone that have set a trap, a trap, a trap, a tent for me and my house and this house and my nation into that very hell and I'll pass by in safety to the end of this year and beyond. Put your hands together and make the announcement. Say it. Say something. Don't stand there. Say something. Open your mouth. Say something. Maduka Lika Dallas. Bagandula Gawasa. Elita kunda kasalin imahandula awalandu kasalima imangi dalu kasalan filandu ka isalan wehan kowan si kadun di kalim elindu kasalama. Lift up your hands. Say, Heavenly Father, we entrust every traveler to your care. To the charge of your angel. Cross the airwaves of the middle North America, the Middle East, Europe, now South America, traveler, or anyone that names the hey, by the blood accept and our hands together, right? In, intercept, avert, intercept, avert strange weather patterns, any evil clouds any evil wind across across the air ways and space europe asia the middle east north america south america across the nations in the name of jesus we intercept put on the intercept intercept avert in the name of jesus thank you lord now lift up your hands Psalm 105, he said, as his people left one people and one nation to another, he suffered no man to do them harm, rebuking kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Lift it up, say in the name of Jesus. We declare, Heavenly Father, as your people leave this house, this nation, these people, and kingdom to another people to another nation to another kingdom you will suffer no one
Thank you for the liberty of your spirit this morning, O Lord. Thank you Atmosphere this morning. Le ko samrege de shataya. We declare breakthrough atmosphere. We declare breakthrough atmosphere. We declare an atmosphere of miracles, signs and wonders. Shale kombra atele kesi abalata. Esoso para katele gejemre eto saladia. Me ko salavento pra atala. Esake tola mande. Reko tapra kasataya. Zezeze maluka tonde baha. Reke soso para kasetele. Ele krota maras kete reko sateli mande rebos kalabazan tali bosata rebebe kele boshande le kosa brande eko tolo bazata ya eka salamando shataya na rebeke tolo sade ebra kadele boshanda kaya ireke soso praka tele boshande reko sambra gada bosh kataba remos koto lo boshande le basata rabale. Zeneke tola basha talia, ela kusante liyama. Ribeke teke teke dege dege de brosha ta. Eka soso rama kete le brondos kada. Rebo shande le brosha ta. Raba bakandos kete le maya namosa. We worship you, Lord, this morning, O God. We give you all the praise this morning. Reko shaka talama, reko salama ndeke siya. Ripa shante kere le brosha. Ora mama mazande kere bosha, we worship you Lord, we glorify your name Jesus. Oh just lift your hands and worship Jesus. Re malaku santaria, re malakende le bosha na lama. Oh we worship your name Jesus. Oh we honor you this morning. Oh we give you all the glory. We worship you Lord. Malaya na masoko ta da da da. This is holy moment when God walks in us. Every gaze is on the lion and the lamb. This is holy. Generations 
you are somebody give God praise exalt his holy name give the Lord praise give the Lord praise give the Lord praise wherever you are it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day the Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and we will be glad in this wonderful day regardless of the kind of sleep you had but you are still alive come on somebody give god praise give god praise exalt his name thank him thank him thank him the bible says from the rising up of the sun and unto the going down of the same the name of the lord shall be glorified wherever you are tell somebody it is a beautiful day it's a wonderful day this is your week of divine acceleration it is command your week it's time to command your week it's time to speak into the womb of time it's time to speak into the womb of the day it's time to speak into the womb of the week and what you speak and proclaim into the week is what comes to you so it is time for you to speak and when you speak you will see the hand of the Lord prevailing in your life the Bible says I love them that love me and those who seek me early shall find me ladies and gentlemen it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful week and we are going to see the desire of God fulfilled in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus one more time put your hands together call your family members call your loved ones wherever they are sleeping lying in bed tell them it is time to rise up it's time to lift yourself up it's time to rouse yourself from any state of slumber it is time to war it's time to fight 
it's time to lift yourself up Nehemiah said I said to the nobles I said to the leaders and I said to the rulers rise up fight for your family fight for your wives fight for your children fight for your sons fight for your daughters if you don't fight forces and jackals will take over the space all kinds of undesirable all kinds of unwanted elements will take over your space but as you stand your ground and fight in prayer the hand of the Lord will prevail for you in the mighty name of Jesus somebody lift up your voice even as you have gotten the gift of life this morning it's a good time to praise him to say thank you Lord I exalt your name for your goodness I exalt your name for your loving kindness I exalt your name for your graciousness for it is by the message of the Lord that you and I have not been consumed come on somebody give God praise wherever you are joining us across the continents of our world across the nations it's a beautiful day it's a wonderful day it is time to pray it's time to speak into the week it's time to command your week and ladies and gentlemen what you speak into your week is what shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus come on somebody lift yourself up lift it up lift it up rouse yourself pace around if you can move around do something shake yourself lift yourself from that bed we speak life to you we speak strength 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 to you wherever you are in your hospital bed wherever you are in your chamber in the office doing a night job a night shift in the name of Jesus speak 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 in the name of Jesus speak in the name of Jesus speak in the name of Jesus Somebody lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift it up, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rise up wherever you are, rise up from your bed, rise up from your sleep, rise up from your slumber, it is time to pray, it's time to call upon the name of the Lord. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call upon him. Call upon him. When you seek me, you will find me. Lift up your voice. Lift it up. Lift it up. Seek God on behalf of your family. Seek God on behalf of your loved ones. Seek God on behalf of your loved ones. And when you seek him, you will find him. When you call upon him, he will hear you. In the name of Jesus, he will reveal great and mighty things in your life, in your family, in your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, come on, somebody lift it up. And declare, whosoever shall upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Your presence will go before us. Your presence shall be upon us. Go before us. We accept and the power of God. We call upon you. We accept you. the influence of God. We call upon the God. We accept the of grace of God. God. The we accept of the universe. God's divine morning, prophetic we purpose and plans concerning our lives. Come on, somebody lift it up. In the name of Jesus, lift yourself up. Allah cover us. It is this week. It's your week of overturning delays. 
and enforcing divine acceleration in the name of Jesus. Say overturning delay. Overturning delay. Overturning delay. Overturning delay. And enforcing. And enforcing divine divine acceleration. Acceleration. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This week. This week. This week. This week. Any delay. Any delay. Any delay. Any delay. Any denial. Any denial. Any setback. Any setback. In my life. In my life. In the past week. In the past week. In the past month. In the past month. In the past year. In the past year, this week, this week shall not pass me shall by. Not pass me shall by. not pass me shall by. Not pass me in by. the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Then I declare, I declare, I declare, I declare. My divine authority, my divine authority. Any setback, any setback. Any delay, any delay. Any hold back, any hold back. Any denial, any denial. In my life, in my life. My divine, my divine authority, authority. I overturn it. I overturn. 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 In the name, in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. There is a scripture we want to use to enforce this thing. In Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12, the Bible says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a sudden good break is like a tree of life. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any hope. Any hope. Any hope. Any hope concerning, concerning my life, my life, my household, my household, my family, my family, my loved ones, my loved ones, my future, future, my destiny, my destiny, God's purpose, God's purpose, and agenda, and agenda for my life, for my life that has been delayed, that has been delayed, that has been, that has been, that has been denied, that has been denied. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. According, according. Yes. To the scriptures, according, according to the scriptures, to the scriptures, and the hope, and the hope, defer, 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 intended, 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 intended to make my house, make my house, sick, sick, my family, my family, sick, sick, my loved ones, my loved ones, sick, sick, my purpose, my purpose, sick, sick. My son, sick, say, say the name, the name of Jesus, of Jesus. By, divine by divine authority. authority. I declare, I declare, any personality, personality, assign, assign any association, association, any, any group of people, assign to hold back, to hold back, to hold back, to hold back, to delay, to delay, to deny, to deny, to deny, to deny. My hope, my hope, my purpose, my purpose, my assignment, my assignment today, today. By I declare authority. Say, I, I declare. I arrest. Arrest. I arrest. 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 Up your hands. Command them. Arrest. In the name of Jesus. Arrest. We arrest it. We arrest it. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare a divine arrest for any delay, any power, anything deployed to come back alive. Let it be arrested. 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 I decree and declare. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Lift it up, somebody concentrate, push it. Push prayer, push prayer. Lift it up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the hope deferred. And the hope deferred. In my life. In my family. In my destiny. My purpose. My assignment. My children. Anything that has been held back. That has been delayed. That has been denied. In the name of Jesus. We command it to pray. We command it to pray. We command it to pray. Lift up your voice. Clap your hands. Somebody move around. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Hope deferred. Make the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. We declare the name of Jesus. Let it pray. Let it pray. Let it pray. And a difference of hope. And a difference of favor. And a difference of beauty. And a difference of strength. And a difference of healing. And a difference of power. 
lift up your voice command it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus lift up your voice clap your hands somebody lift it up 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 in the name of Jesus 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 somebody lift it up lift it 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 lift up prayer in the name of Jesus Soto Hagana, Ikita Hagana says, It get to the very other. Tell somebody, don't be distracted. Say, concentrate. Concentrate. Hallelujah. We want to take a scripture, it will give us much insight into what we are dealing with. Dealing with delays, overturning delays, overturning delays, and commanding a divine acceleration. For the blessings of God to manifest. Let's look at a scripture in the book of Daniel chapter 7. Taking it from verse number 21. Daniel 7, 21. It says, I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Look at verse 22. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. When there is warfare and when there is contention and there is prolonged battle, it has a way of wearying you and bringing you to a place where you can even give up. I will declare today in the name of Jesus, any warfare, Yes. Satanic any contention, any contention, any demonic, any demonic, satanic, satanic contention, contention in my life, in my life, in my family, in my family, in my body, in my body, in my health, in my health, contending, contending against, against my life, my life, for me, for me, to give up, to give up, for the enemy, the enemy will gain, will gain an upper hand, upper hand over my life, over my life. So in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I defy, I defy authority, authority, I command, I command the whole. The power, the authority, authority. Let it pray. Let it pray. Let it pray. Let it pray. Clap your hands. Open your mouth. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Let it pray. Let it pray. Let it pray. In the name of Let it pray. Let it pray. In the name of Jesus. Let it pray. Any warfare. Any contention. Any battle. In the spirit. In the physical. Let it pray. Your life fighting against your household, content, fighting against content, your family, house, fighting against your next level, your future, your destiny, God's purpose, let them and plan for your life. On the account in the name of Jesus, let them break on the account. Let it be arrested. 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 Account of the Lord. Pray in the name of Jesus. Let them pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Let them pray. 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 Let them pray.
the ancient of days. Let God step in our lives. Let God step in your family. Let God step in that situation. Let, let God step in that health crisis, health complications, health crisis in the family, family complications, home complications, marriage complications, relationship complications, financial complications that seem to be overwhelming us. We declare, let the ancient of days step in. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, arise, uh, arise, uh, arise, uh, arise, uh, arise, uh, arise uh, and step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, 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 in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Command the ancient of days to step in. Let God come through. Let God step in. Let him 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 step in. In the name of Jesus. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints. Let the ancient of days step in. Somebody pray. Let him step in. In your family, in your business, in your home. Hey. Jesus. Until the ancient of days stepped in, the Bible says the horn was prevailing. It could also mean the reason why you don't seem to be prevailing in the marketplace is because other powers are working. Other powers are prevailing. Other powers are working against you. Until the ancient of days comes, the marketplace will begin to be it will, it will continue to behave funny. Your finances will be funny. Your home will be in turmoil. Your situations will be bad. We declare today, let the ancient of day come into the equation. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 Say, I declare, I declare by divine, divine authority, authority on the authority, on the authority of, the of the scriptures and the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. Say, I invite, I invite the ancient of day to step in. Step in, step in, step in, and let judgment, let judgment be, given be given in the favor, in the favor of, the saints, of the saints, in my family, my family in my household, household, in my marriage, my, marriage, my relationship, relationship, this house, this house the, families the family of this house, of this house the father of, of this house, of this house the, leadership the leadership of this house, of this house. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, let the ancient of days, of days step in, step in, step in, step in, step in stamp your feet. Clap your hands, command it, let it come to pass. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody push it, push the prayer, push the prayer, push the prayer until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High and the time. And came that the saints possess their possession in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are taking over. We are taking our place. We are taking our stand. We are taking authority in our space, in our environment, in our household. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. And in Syria, it says, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. That the saints possessed the kingdom. The kingdom is the ultimate that creates all the fights. The kingdom gives you authorization the kingdom gives you legitimacy we want to declare in the name of Jesus until the ancient of days came the saints were behaving like strangers the saints were behaving like puppets the saints were behaving like people who were without hope because 
the kingdom was not in their possession. But when the ancient of days came, they possessed the kingdom. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I go to my office. As I go to my office. As I go to the marketplace. As I go to the marketplace. I declare. I declare. By divine. By divine. Authority. Authority. And by the power. By the power. Of the ancient. Of, the ancient of days. Of days. Say I possess. I possess. I possess. I possess. My space. I say. I possess. I possess. My family. My family. I possess. I possess. My household. My household. I possess. I possess. The marketplace. Marketplace. I possess. I possess. The kingdom. The kingdom. I possess. I possess. My future. My future. By divine. By divine. Authority. Authority. As I stamp my feet. And I clap my hands. Say I possess. I possess. I possess. I possess. I possess. I possess. Lift it up. Open your mouth. Somebody pray. And I possess. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, I told him in the door. Accelerate. 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 In the name of Jesus. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We possess the possession. We possess the kingdom. We possess the riches. We possess the honors. We possess the lifting. We possess the promotions. We possess the elevation in our lives. In our families, in our household, this house, let us be a divine possession, acceleration in your life, in the lives of your children, your family, your loved ones, this house, somebody pray, pray in the name of Jesus, pray in the name of Jesus, pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and the time came that the saints, Possess the kingdom, the kingdom. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Lift it up, push it, drive it, push it, drive it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. In the name of Jesus. Tell somebody it shall end you well. It shall end you well. It shall end in righteousness. It shall end in goodness. It shall end in peace. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, observe the upright man and watch the end of the righteous for the end of such a person is peace say in the name of Jesus my warfare shall come to an end it shall end peacefully my household shall see peace my family shall know peace my going out shall be peaceful my coming in shall be peaceful in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. We want to take one more scripture. We want to take one more scripture to drive it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are blessed to have your father, my father in the house. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. One more scripture from the book of Zechariah chapter 1 from verse number 20. We are still enforcing divine acceleration. Dealing with delays. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. The Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come these to do? And he spake, saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. Hallelujah. It says, these four horns were contending against
against Israel that no one is able to lift up their head. There was a ceiling, there was an embargo, there was a limit and a limitation place that it doesn't matter how hard and how far you try to move, there is a limitation. Say today, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say I declare by divine authority, I overturn every delay, every delay in my office, in the marketplace, in my bloodline, in my family, any delay, contentions, holes that have held back, that have denied, that have denied my next level in the name of Jesus, say I deploy. I deploy the carpenters, the craftsmen of God, release from the heavens above to override. Say, I override every demonic horn. I command them be cut off, be cut off, be cut off. Say, I declare, according to the scriptures, the horn of the wicked shall be cut off, shall be cut off, and the horn of the righteous shall be exalted say in the name of Jesus by the sword of the spirit by the sword of the Lord I cut off every horn of contention every horn of death every horn of lack every horn of insufficiency every horn of pain sickness disease contending against my life in the name of the law, say by the sword, let the horns be cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, clap your hands, come on, cut them off, cut them off, let the horns be cut off, let the horns be cut off, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, let it be cut off, then the horn contending against your life, your family, your household, your next level, your future, your destiny, your purpose. Let the horns be cut off, be cut off, be cut off, be cut off, be cut off. In the name of Jesus, somebody push it, push it, push it, push it, push it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Push it, push it, push it. Push it, push it. Let the horn of the wicked be cut off, be cut off, be cut off, be cut off by the power of the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands, open your mouth, pray, lift yourself up. Don't grow weak, don't be tired. Come forward, come forward. Good to be with you. Hallelujah. I'm very proud of you. And I'll tell you why. Because you come to pray. You come to pray whether Papa is in town or not. So it's clear that it's not about me. It's about you and the Lord. If you look at other religions, they don't pray online. They go to the synagogue and they go to their place of prayer. We are the only people who do online prayers. Now, online prayers has an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage is that you can pray with others wherever you are. But the disadvantage is that you are not regulated. Nobody holds you responsible and accountable. You are on your own. As, and as the human nature is, sometimes you can be discouraged, frustrated, you can fall aside. Nobody holds you accountable. Nobody is monitoring you. So it's very dangerous. You can easily fall up, fall by the wayside, get discouraged, get weary, get tired, and quit and give up. Because you are all on your own. But when you are with others, you are monitored. You know, something I learned, and I was telling the church yesterday, that I realized after 47 years of preaching, that one of the most dangerous things is gifted people and anointed people who are not held 
responsible and accountable by anybody who are not supervised by any spiritual authority or leader, those people are very dangerous. And it's one of the greatest problems we have in the body of Christ, that we have gifted people who have never been mentored, they've never been fathered, and no one holds them responsible, and nobody oversees them, but they are gifted. And that is dangerous. That is Lucifer's children. That's what happened to God in heaven. Gifted people, but they are not under anybody's covering. Nobody holds them accountable. They do as they please because their gift is strong. People like that are dangerous. Tell somebody, make sure you are not following that kind. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter how gifted they are. First thing you must find out, who do they answer to? Two, where did they come from? Three, who groomed them? Who is their father? Who is mentoring them? Not who mentored. Who mentored, but now, right now, who is mentoring them? Who do they answer to? Who holds them responsible? Because if they don't, they can err. Gift is not enough. You can err. It's very, very dangerous. So look at someone and say, be careful, careful. Lift up your hands. I woke up this morning with a very prophetic song. And I want us to live. I haven't sung it for many years. In a year, in a we want to enforce some scriptures like I said it's not enough to read the Bible one of the greatest deception in the body of Christ is people think reading the Bible is the key no it's not reading it is hearing what you are reading for faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God so reading is not enough don't be fooled you must read and hear what you are reading now Joshua 1 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So you have to vocalize what you are reading until you say it. It doesn't work. It only works when you hear what you are reading by your mouth. So you, you vocalize it. You speak it out. How? This book of the law shall not depart out of my mouth. But I will meditate upon it day and night to observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then I will make my way prosperous and have good success. You say it over and over again. There was a scripture I was in Germany a few days ago. And there was a scripture that came to me. I was dealing with something very, very deep spiritually. And the Lord began to remind me of how he sent his angel to deliver me 50 years ago from a very terrible accident I had at Bolgatanga and so many people died and the angel of the Lord came and pulled me out of it and set me on my feet on the main street and the Lord said don't, don't forget that angel and I've encountered that angel several times in very very dangerous situations and the Lord said don't forget your angel then he gave me a scripture 2 Corinthians 1 10 Second, I want you to keep this scripture and there's something there that is very powerful 
Second Corinthians, he said, who, 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 who delivered, delivered us from such mm. a great death? death? Who does deliver? Mm. Number two, deliverance. In whom? In whom we trust that he shall yet deliver threefold deliverance. Say he did deliver. He does deliver. He shall yet. He shall yet. Tell someone he shall yet. He shall yet deliver. Do you understand that? And I kept the spirit of God kept impressing it on, on my hand in my hotel room over and over and over again. And I immediately the light came on and I said, Lord, I get it. I get it. And what did I get? He said. I just didn't deliver. I'm not just delivering. I will yet deliver. Yeah. Hey! Somebody say, hey, 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 hey! hey. hey. Tell somebody, make no mistake, make no mistake. He who delivers, does deliver, shall yet deliver. You remember? Hear me? You remember? You remember David? He delivered him from the lion and the bear. And David thought that was it. But God was making a statement. David, I'm going to deliver you from the lion and the bear. And my reason is to take away the fear of the giant. After you have slain a lion and a bear, when you see a giant, you will not fear. Say, I hear you. So God delivered him from the lion and the bear to prepare him to face the giant. God has prepared you to face the future. And it doesn't matter how fierce the future is. He who delivered, who does deliver, shall yet deliver. Oh, come on, somebody. Say, shall yet, yet deliver, yet deliver. He shall yet deliver. You need that. Somebody asked me yesterday, for years you keep praying, money change hands, power change hands. Why, Papa? Yesterday, he said, I've been listening to you for many years now. Every time, power changes, money changes. And I said, because number one, it is believed that the wealth of the entire population of this world eh, is controlled by between 4 to 5 percent of the entire world. Just 4 to 5 percent people control the wealth and the power of the nations. 16 nations are having election this year. Some people are sitting somewhere, they've determined already who will lose and who will win. Yeah, because they have an interest. They've determined it already. So when we pray and say power change and money change out, we are dealing with those few percentage of people all around the world. You don't know them, you don't see them, but they are around. Yeah, they are names, I don't want to call their names. They are very powerful people, cartels, all over the world. So when we prophesy as God's people, Power change hands, money change hands. We are speaking to those powers behind the scenes. Say powers behind the scenes. Lift up prayer right now. Command money to change hands. Power change hands. Money change hands. Lift up prayer. Change hands. Now, now, this is command center. Tell somebody command center. You come here and I give you commands for the week. And when you live here, you enforce those commands. Say, I hear you. Come with me to Ezekiel 12, 21. 21 to 25, Ezekiel 12. These are the commands for the week. And as you live here, you enforce it day and night, morning, day and night, morning, day and night. Go ahead, Bishop, fast. Let's... And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Yes, sir. Son of man, mm -hmm. what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Uh -huh. Saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. People are saying that, Charlie, when will it happen? Everything is prolonged, prolonged. Go ahead. Tell them, therefore, uh -huh. that says the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them. Use the word Ghana, Ghana. Everywhere you see is I put Ghana there. Go ahead. 
and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Ghana. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Ghana. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and will perform it, saith the Lord God. Verse 28. 28. Therefore say unto them, that saith the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God. Revelation chapter 10 verse 5 and 6. Quickly. I want you to receive these commands. Say commands. Say commands. Go ahead. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to the heaven and swore by him that liveth forever yes, and ever, who created heaven and the things therein are, and the earth, and the things that therein are, and the sea, and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. No, give me NIV. Yes. Quickly, switch. Go ahead. And he swore by him who lives forever and Please ever. Go, go back, go back to then the angel uh -huh. that I then, stand, uh -huh. then the angel I, then the angel I had seen standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to the heaven yes sir and he swore by him who lives forever and ever mm -hmm. who created the heavens and all that is in them and the earth and all that is in it and the sea and all that is in it and said there will be no more delay did you hear that? Yes. Did you hear that? Yes. I want you to begin to announce and proclaim no more delays. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. From today, today, put your hands together. Whoever you are, wherever you are, prophesy. Speak to your walls. Speak to the four winds. Speak to the land. Speak to the earth. Speak to the buildings. Speak to your furniture. Speak to your pillow. Speak to your bed. Speak to your cars. Speak. Speak to your neighbors. Declare. No more delays. Lift it up. Lift no more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more. 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 No more delay. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 2 we are making announcement say it's time for proclamation say proclamation 
One of the most powerful things in the Bible is proclamation. It's one of the most powerful prayers in the Bible that I have experienced over the, the power of proclamation. Isaiah 40 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Put Ghana there. Put Ghana there. Go ahead quickly. Speak ye comfortably to, to Ghana. Cry unto her. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, sir. Hear me. That word, <clears throat> your warfare is accomplished, means your warfare is ended, it's come to an end. I proclaim that every family warfare has ended. Every health warfare is ended. Political warfare has come to an end. Financial warfare has come to an end. Marital warfare has come to an end. Warfare over your children and destinies is come to an end. Over your land, your investment, your finances has come to an end. Somebody lift up prayer, put your announce it, declare. Amen. This is command center. You come and receive orders and instructions, and you go home and what? You execute them. So when you go home, when you get to the car park, announce to the car. 
announced to the earth. Do you know the earth have ears to hear? I'll teach you next week. Trees hear. Trees can hear and trees speaks. Yeah, the wind can hear. The earth has ear to hear. The sea hears. When he said, peace be still, the sea heard it and obeyed. He rebuked the wind and the wind heard and obeyed. They comply. So when you go home today, announce to everything around you. Your pillow, your bed, the walls, everything around. Announce and say, that says the Lord. My, comp my warfare is accomplished. My warfare is finished. My warfare has ended in the name of Jesus. And I obtain double pardon, double pardon for every sin and iniquity. In the name of Jesus, declare it right now. One more time, declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Now, give me, give me one or two testimonies quickly. Bishop Fast, give me one or two testimonies. Testimonies. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God for answering my prayers. I want to thank God and share my testimony of answered prayer. I am grateful to God for healing my two year old son of high blood pressure for restoring peace and joy in my family. Indeed, God is a master at answering prayers. Glory be to God. Glory to his name. In Jesus' name, God bless you, Papa. Papa, we want to give thanks to God for his loving message. We received our first miracle in the first week of January when Papa was praying for the now miracle. My husband's paperwork, which had been delayed for a whole year, was instantly released. In my mid in mid January, I had to stay home from work due to shoulder pains and a fracture. Not long after, my husband also had to stay home due to low productivity at his company. We continued praying and entrusted all our bills to God. After the prayers on February 25th, we received a deposit of the money owed to us from someone who had hit the back of our car last year. We want to testify to the mercy of God. We will continue praying until the Almighty fights all our battles for us. God bless you, Papa, for standing in the gap for us. Okay, the last one. I joined command your morning in December 2023 this year. This week, I've been praying the scriptures Papa provided every morning. Yesterday, as I was driving back from a funeral in my hometown, I turned without properly checking the mirrors and almost caused an accident that could have cost my life and the lives of six others. I thank God for the divine escape that despite my mistake, God delivered us from death. Put your hands together, somebody. Give him praise. I declare, let God grant you and all that concerns you, home and abroad, domestic and external, divine escapes. Put your hands together, declare divine escapes. Divine escape, divine escape, divine escape for you, your loved ones family and them that concerns you home and abroad divine escape 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 in the air escape on land escape on water escape on land in the air on water divine escapes now now lift up your hands remember that this is command your week with papa sons and when i say son that it also includes daughters I have one of my daughters here, Bishop Olivia, that has been with me for over 40 years. I want Bishop Olivia to come and close us. Stand on your feet, lift up your hands. The women also matter, the daughters matter. Lift up your hand, give her a microphone quickly. Bishop, take it over. I want you to flow, bless us and close us. I'll see you 
Next week, Monday, command your week. Now testimonies are released. Breakthroughs are released. Every breakthrough of yours that was held up is loose. I let your breakthrough loose. Your testimony loose. Your children loose. Your loved ones loose. Your family loose. Let my people loose. Let my people go. That says the Lord. Take it over, daughter. Hallelujah. Give a big clap of me to Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, by the one authority, I declare the time of delay is over. I accelerate, I accelerate, I accelerate in my finances, I accelerate in my marriage, I accelerate in my health, I accelerate in my business, I declare my children, I accelerate my family, I accelerate in the name of Jesus. This is my way of divine acceleration. No more delay. Praise God is good to be with you and I'm excited to announce to you Prayer Works 2024 is at hand on the 17th of July to the 20th in Maryland at Upper Marlboro. You can't miss it. It's an experience that we all look forward to. Every year we gather all across the nations. Can you imagine when thousands of us all gather and we lift up prayer to Almighty God? you will return home with the upper hand and every unresolved issue in your life in the life of your loved ones and family home and abroad will be resolved and i believe god that every crooked path will be made straight every mountain and hill shall be made plain and every valley shall be exalted above all i pray for you that circumstances and situations will be conducive for you, your loved ones, and your family to attend this year prayer works in Maryland, Upper Marble, on the 17th to the 20th. Be there.